very misty today. In fact, it's a funny taste as well. There's Western Woods. That very not very good for not a very good day at all. That's not what I expected, by the way. I was told it was going to be sunny, hardly any winds, and hot. It might turn out like that later on the way back. Um, and I'm in a sheltered place at the moment. Um, I'm coming up this. Down there is um, Canada Coombe. Windmill Hill over there. Western right over there. And I was here when I went and did the plantation walk and hutton and everything. It could be two weeks now. Time flies. Um, I walked up this bit. So it's sometimes this bit will be seen. I thought I'd do a little bit of video here. Because of the the scene back there. Yeah, I've been moaning about the weather. I think it was supposed to be. And I think it will be alright. It's just it was very cold on in the bridal path a minute ago. Very cold. Um, just trying to think what the date is today. Do you know what? I really can't. I really don't know. I really don't, I really don't know what the date is. It could be the 23rd, 24th of April. I really don't know. Uh, time sort of stood still now we're all in this lockdown. Um, but anyway, it's the year 2020 and we've got this COVID virus thing people dying apparently all over the place and uh, I just needed to get out a little bit more of a walk than my usual ones because because um it can become quite repetitive. There's the old locks and posts there. I'm doing this walk in reverse today. I normally do it the other way around. But I thought, no, do it. Do it in reverse for a change. And, uh... Because what happens normally, I normally get, what normally happens, I get the bus to Winscombe and from Winscombe I walk to Crooks Peak and then walk back to Weston. But because there were, there's no buses, <laughs> it's like weird really, it's, it's like a war in it. I'm, uh, I'm doing um, a different walk. Um, I'm, I'm having to walk there and back, by the way, which I've uh, I've only done a couple of times. Walked to Crooks Peak and back to Weston, so it is a bit of a challenge for me. Uh, just as long as it doesn't rain. I mean, I never stay very long on Crooks Peak anyway, to tell the truth. I never stay there very long at all. Um, now, when one of my walks back is usually that way as well. After I've done Crooks Peak, I go that way and I go down the orchards, the cider orchards, and along the Axe Valley and back to Bleeden. But I won't be doing that. I'm not doing that today. Um, because it is, it is a bit extra, you say, when you, when you do that. It is a bit extra. So what I'm doing is, um, varying it a bit. Now you can feel that wind again now. It looks like I'm going to go straight into the wind again, doesn't it? I've had, I've warmed up for five minutes. Now, I don't know if that, that's probably private in there, but look, you can see the bluebells in the wood there. See? Lovely, aren't they? That's a private walkway in there. 
but I'm going to be skirting that now. I'm going to be turning off. Although you can go up there if you want. Um, yeah, I quite like this walk. Like I said, I normally do it on the way back. I go to Loxton Church before I come up this way. Uh, this is known as the West Mendip Way, by the way. And it's signposted there. It's a well-used walk. Usually in June, there's a big charity walk from Weston to Wells. I've done it twice. I've done it three times, actually. I've done it once, twice with the army cadets, save the children, and part of it with the, my nursing colleagues raising money for leukemia. Um, that was one of the last things we did before we all broke up, went our separate ways. It was the thing we all did together, our group. It was the last meeting, really, of us all together. And, uh, yeah, that was, um, that was good as well. I haven't, I don't really see anyone now. Always, well, once you give up the job, you see. Uh, that's it, people all go their own ways. Once you retire. I mean, years ago, there used to be a social club. There was always a social club for the hospitals where the staff could chill out. And uh, the one at Taunton was uh, pulled down. They built a car park on it, I think. And the one in Weston, they got rid of it. I just think it was mean, really. They could do with somewhere like that now with all this pressure of people people are scared to go to work nurses and doctors now and cleaners the risk of them dying is much norm higher than they would normally expect when they go to work so it's a bit of a record in time I'm doing everyone just uh, talking about the uh Yeah, so this is the West Mendip Way. Over there is a copse where I saw a deer once, and fields where there's a table, a bench for picnics. Mentioned a lot on my walks. And there's this wood here, full of bluebells. And as I've just said, I'm doing it in reverse. I normally, I don't know if I've ever walked, in fact, I don't think I've ever walked it. I must have done with the last time I did the Crooks Peak like this over 10 years ago um, and it was about 10 years ago 10 or it could have been 12 years ago I'd done it the last time I've walked to Crooks Peak and back I must have come this way and of course I came this way much further back in time than that 20 and 30 odd years ago when I did the um, charity walk, of course. We came along the Roman Road, and we came down here. Uh, yeah, so I, we did do it like that, but we didn't come back. We were going our way to Wells. Um, with the nurses, we started our walk at Winscombe. We didn't do it from Wells. We only did, I think, 12 miles or something. Um, or eight, I don't know how far, far it was. And then we met in a one of the pubs, either the Dolphin or the Ship in Uphill. <sighs> Say hi and bye, basically. Um, it, was our last, it was the last time I'd ever been with them, my group, my nursing group. And, uh, yeah, long time ago now. I feel old now, you know. I'm starting to feel old in some ways, you know. 
uh, I think society makes you do it once you're retired. And of course, I'm starting to say people are vulnerable after 60. <sighs> I think you can get vulnerable if you don't get out and do the exercising. That's my theory. If I don't get out of my box, which is a flat with no garden. Right, this is Sheila. Probably about the fourth, fifth video. Um, I'm going along the West Mendip Way, heading for Loxton, by the way, if I didn't say. There won't be, of course, there won't be any charity walks. People can do them on their own now, but there won't be any group ones or organised ones. I might be coming back a slightly different way. I haven't decided yet. Depends how I feel. I might come back via what's a village called, what's a hamlet called Christon. Um, I might do. And then, um, or I might walk back. If I am feeling like I just want, need to get back, I will go back up the small lane, which is quite dangerous. It can be a fast lane, not like this. It, it's like a B road, or less than a B even, but it's used. There's no pathways, there's lots of bends. I've done it loads of times on my bike. I'm gradually getting the bike out. I've just done a bit, like, perhaps once a week. I did a five hour, hour cycle, which took me ages actually, but um, that's because I'm always taking, stopping, taking photos. I'm trying to get out. I want to be able to go on the strawberry line. But the only problem is now, with everyone being home, and that includes all the kids as well, I think the strawberry line will be packed. Because people are having to think how to... Um, not entertain the children, but give them exercise, give them variety, stimulation. And the strawberry line has always been a good one for teaching children how to cycle and that sort of thing, because it's usually safe. Um, but what's going to happen now, you're going to get lots of families deciding to take their kids to the strawberry line. Whereas when it's school and people are at work, you've more or less got the strawberry line to yourself. Um, and uh, that's one of the things to do on the bike. I've walked parts of it as well, don't forget. I do a lot of walking. But that usually involves a bus somewhere, though. Because it is a bit of a hike to get to the strawberry line. From You have a massive hike before you even got there. So that probably won't happen. It'll have to be a cycle. Anyway, I'm, there's a slow going downhill which I normally, after a big hike, I'm walking up and up. <sighs> this looks like it's been cleared a bit here. And Crook's Peak, you can't see it, but it's in the mist, it's over there. Right through the trees there. It'll come into view a bit later. <sighs> yeah, so, like I said, this will be the first time I've ever videoed um, with the Sony camera anyway. Uh, somewhere there will be the original video recording that I did. Uh, it was with a mobile phone camera and it was a very good mobile phone for those days. Do you know what? That video on the camera and the battery would last me a whole day without being charged. It was amazing, that little camera. I was really upset when it's when it went, you know, it was so well used, it did, it sort of fell apart. <laughs> and uh, the subsequent ones never, ever matched that, that one. I mean, I don't know about these smartphones, I expect they're pretty good. Right then, folks, here's a lovely picture of Crook's Peak, and I aim to be on top of that. The idea was to get there about 12, but it might be, it could happen, I'm not sure yet. It could happen. It might take me more than two hours to get up there, so... I'm going to take a picture of that scene. It's nice, isn't it? Over and out. So here we are, look. On the West Mendip Way, going down towards Loxton. I can hear the motorway quite clearly. Um, still, still busy. Lots and lots of lorries, obviously. 
not the holiday makers, not many cars, lots of lorries and vans. There's Brent Knoll over there. There's a nice little private wood there that I go the other. I walk the other side of that down in a valley by the where all the orchards are. And I've walked up through there before now. It's a nice little walk up there. If you don't want to do the path here, sometimes you can cut through somewhere like that. See. And I can hear the motorway, and I'm making my way down. And it's now quite warm now. Um, I'm sheltered from the wind. I don't know if the wind has suddenly dropped. Um, hopefully it has. And um, I'm making my way down now. And when I get to Loxton Church, um, there's a little bench there. I shall sit there and have a drink of water and a bar of chocolate. That will be my snack. Uh, I had breakfast very early this morning. In fact, I never slept very well all night thinking I might not wake up in time. I wanted to get up at six, half past five, six. Well, I was awake most of the night. <laughs> so I'm going to be zonked for a few days after this walk. But there's another nice day tomorrow. But I really needed to get out from Weston. You feel trapped. You know, I really needed a proper walk to get away. Although I love the wood, it's starting to get busy. Now, I've been on this walk here. I haven't met nobody. Not on this particular mended way. Now, now Crook's Peak is just going to come into view. So I've just done a little bit of video in as it comes into view in the sunlight over there, look. And the plan is to... I'm not going to go in that field looking at it. I'm just going to carry on with me walk. And... Uh, get the mission done to get there and then we've got all day to get back I'll decide what route I take for the return journey when I get back to Loxton after doing the peak now I did do Winscombe back to uphill last year but I didn't do I never actually climbed up on the peak in fact I got lost in the gorse at one point thinking I got I found a good way down and I end, ended up in a load of gorse <clears throat> so um, yeah I never went on the top that day I don't think sometimes I don't I walk straight past it um, I can't remember if I did the church St. Leonard uh, St. Andrews but I'm not going to do St. Andrews today. I was going to, but then I realised it will be shut. It's not en route. You have to go right down in the valley for it. And I think that is a hike on its own. I would just do Loxon Church today. Um, just sit there and have a little rest. Because what it is, the put footpath goes right by the church. So basically... What, what that means is um, you can just go and have a quick look. Well, it's a very old church, Loxton. It's very old. And it's nearly always open. I would be very surprised if it was open because of this coronavirus. Anyway, normally I'm walking up this after a big hike. And, uh, and in the heat. In the late afternoon, I'm normally walking up here, and it is a steady climb. Today, I'm going. I've done it in reverse, so I don't really fancy walking up back up it on the return jet. So I shall take a different route. I will be taking a different route, and there could be another church I might bypass called Christ Christen Church. It's possibility that I will do that. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little while now.